Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Kevin Plays the Captain. Uh, we are now orbiting just outside the Vulcanist crash site. Uh, in the last video, we came here, lifted up some laser cannons, and ship did confirm we can't use them, but we could use the auto forge. We could turn them into an ice melting system. So let's do that. Let's do that. We'll do that. Yep. And let's do. We've got two of them, so. Oh no, we don't want to. Just, we, let's create another one. Let's try that. Okay, so we got two of them. Okay, and no, we don't want to dismantle those. Okay. We can create another one? Okay. And then, yeah. Nope, nope. All right. Nuke module. No, we need Dromium. Okay. So, uh, we were, let me see here. I was thinking about going up here to this outer league territory zone here. We will be, we would be backtracking. What I do want, Merchant Mike isn't too far too. I do want to get, there is a, a thing Merchant Mike has. Yeah, this this laser shield modulator for 300. I do want that. This is really nice. Um, it's too bad. See, some people sell the laser plasma beam, but yeah, I only have 30 credits anyway. Um, so, but this laser shield mo modulator, this takes incoming sh uh, laser fire. As it hits your laser shield, it reroutes a portion of that to your to your uh, energy you know which is pretty very nice does it tell you here yeah allows your laser shield to route 30 percent of the energy it absorbs into your energy reserve example if your laser shield gets hit by a laser shot giving 10 damage you will gain three energy it's pretty nice uh let's see right uh, and let's see well hold on let's see if burke's traders has one Oh, they have one too. So we could go forward and do that, but we need money. So we we will see. We'll we'll see what the outer league has here. It'd be nice if we could get that before we head into outer league because they use mostly lasers. But we'll try this. We'll try that. Try and get them. Root Bandreek. All right. Scout. I wonder if I should just... I have like zero scrap metal, yeah. Three energy capsule. Maybe I should just... Con yeah, I need to concentrate on metals anyway. Uh, to get that. 14 precious metals is good. Okay. And hold on, everyone. Mic off. Mic on. Okay, I'm back. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm not planning to upgrade anything here. So, you know, let's just try the hardest thing, which is which is the three scouts. In my opinion, is the hardest one. It's only one set of three scouts. Okay, let's try that. This area is claimed by Brute Bandreek. By entering his territory, you agree to give him your ship and all your possessions to him. That doesn't sound fair. Sigh. Of course it's not fair. So, will you surrender? No way! Then you are dead. Alright, let's see what's going to go on here. He's doing laser shields. He's doing laser shields. And they're all doing laser shields. So you know what? Oh. And just to verify, they're going to shoot lasers. Shoot lasers. Shoot lasers all at 24 damage. Are they going to do it all at the same time? Let me see. On the third. Third. They are going to do it all at the same time. Third. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, but they're doing... Okay, you know what? We will up that since they're all doing laser shields, right? They're all doing laser shields, right? So I can't do anything. All right. We'll wait. All right. Oh, we could destroy one of them. Boom. All right. Okay, he's going to fire, and they're going to fire both at 24, which is, what, 48 damage? Oh, look at that. Oh, hold on. I only have 12 out of 40. And I gotta go, everyone. 32. Alright, I'll be right back. Mic off. Mike on. Okay, wife made me some tea. Wasn't that nice of her? Okay. Yeah, so now they're gonna hit me. Like 48, and I, I'm only... I can only do... Th ah, that's alright. You know what? Yeah. Let's do that. Done. Alright. Now, since we have... Since we're more than 20 hurt... We could do this. Do that. Repair the hull. There you go. Oh, that. Twenty-four. Wait for one more time. There we go, 34. The other guy's going to hit me. They're going to hit me for 48 again. Sixteen energy. Eight energy. Let's try that. Oh, they're just, yeah. Let's just do up that. Done. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Die. There we go. He's going to shoot me. Or 24. There we go. Done.
Darn it. Darn. Still costs eight energy. Ah. Oh well. I really need to up, up the regeneration as well. Okay. I don't need to generate anymore. Or boost power. Just do that. 20. Oh, so close to just blow them away. Yeah, let's just stun them. We'll stun them. <laughs> I didn't have to do that, but oh well. Oh, he's gonna shoot. Alright, he's done. Uh oh! Well, okay. Went through the shield, so that's good. All right. I'm going to collect the precious metals. Uh, probably should up. Yeah, I I I really want that um that module. Want that. All right. All right. Let's do scout and corvette. Let's see what this gain is. Yeah. Gauge. Shields. Oh, he's gonna. Fu okay. But I think if I hit him, 36 damage. Uh, if I shoot him, he could still shoot me back. Well, I guess I could have shot him too. Oh well, I could have stunned him too. Darn, oh well. Well, let's get rid of this guy. Move. Yeah, this should stun him. Yeah. going to shoot me again. Ah, uh, 36.
We have 16 available. Yeah, let's just up our, our, our shields again. Boost our shields. Now he's going to shoot for 36 again. There we go. Okay, we don't need a boost anymore. Because we could do 38 at the at 8 energy, which is our lowest power. So we can remove that. Now we can shoot him. Or, no, we could wait and just take blow him away. Because it's only going to give... Um, if I shoot him on level 1 of the laser gun, it'll knock him down. It's 25 damage, it'll knock him down only to 5. If I just wait one more time to regen to 30, I can use level 2. And that'll blow him away. Right, he's not doing anything. Done. Alright, I'm just gonna collect the precious metals because I need money. I need money. Alright. I hope... sell yes I can sell precious metals so no problem back all right back exit exit all right two scouts one scout one scout let's do two scouts Shields gone for twenty four. Okay, we don't have to boost shields anymore. So we can just basically wait to regenerate. Ah, not enough energy. Cost eight energy. Ah. There we go. Oh, wait. Because I'll regenerate this back, so there we go. Oh, he's gonna use his shields, just regenerate. Mm, I have 38. Yeah, should be okay. Done. Plasma does go through laser shields, so that's good. All right, let's remove that. Got 33. Now we can do this. He's not doing anything. That should take him out. 
Yay! All right. Nine precious. I yeah. I need like I only have like thirty credits, and that's thirty. I think these are about ten a piece. So I need at le I need that nine. I need it. All right. What's this? Scout, one scout, one scout. Goodbye. All right. It's pretty good. That's like a hundred dollars right there. Oh, he's just going to come off blasting. All right. Okay, this will make five. Let's salvage that. Captain! My sensors just picked up some new ship signals in our area. Oh, good. We got some company. Root Bandrick. So, you are the rodent who has been picking fights with my boys. My intentions were peaceful, I just sought to trade. Well, not to be... Well, okay. Let me see. Not to be picky, but they attacked me. They did what they were ordered to do. Yeah, okay. Attacking innocent ships? This area is claimed by me and mine to protect from intruders. And what universally acknowledged jurisdiction gives you that right? What? As I suspected. None. You are boring me with your fancy words, and I am getting a growing lust for blood. Okay, sounds to me like you need therapy. <laughs> Thera, what? Someone needs to shut that yapper of yours. All right. He's doing shields. Okay, so this one, we gotta be careful. This is a power laser of 50 damage. Um, and then, and he also has a uh, plasma as well. Okay. And then this guy is doing shields so they're both doing shields so we'll just uh boost our shields done okay let's remove that okay so i need 60 to stun them uh, 10, I could do 50. This guy. Let's just blow him away. Let's just blow him away. Pair. And you know what, let's... Let's not increase the shields for now. That'll give us more energy to deal with. No, you know what? Let's up the shields. Let's boost them. Hold on. 24 energy. 16 energy. Yeah, let's boost them. Done. 
All right. So this guy is going to shoot me for 50 damage. So I need 16 energy. I got 12. So on these. Alright. So it gives me 16. Not that. Alright, he's going to hit me with 24 damage and 15. I'll just block the 24. As long as I don't get up to a hundred, I'll be fine. Oh wait, I'll get to thirty. Oh yeah, he's doing shields anyway, so that's fine. All right, let's shoot him. Okay, he's at, okay. Move that. Uh, let's see. 38. I think that's all I have. Yep. 58. Or I can use another card. Sure. Can't shoot him anyway. So that's twenty-four. So got eighteen out of forty. I got 20. Ugh, that should stun him. He's not going to do anything. I could just wait. I probably should have boosted my shields. Okay. He's going to shoot for 50, right? There it is. And then I could get one shot off. And hopefully stun him. Oh, I... Oh, because he had shields up. Well, that's... That was bad planning. Okay, I should have waited. Let's just boost this. Update. Let's do plasma on up. Not enough energy. All right. Never. This guy. Let's do that. 
There you go, now he's stunned. And I could get another shot off. I'm at 12. Yeah. Yeah, I should have kept firing at him. Well, Jeff's used up, but that's all right. All right. He'll he'll be done. This guy will be done. All right, now we can do this. Level two, done. Yay! All right, I want this e-capsule converter. So this will you could use to extract the energy from energy capsules. It can be very useful during tough battle scenarios to quickly gain extra energy. So so you could either use uh, energy capsules to reduce stress or to gain 30 energy. So you have options here. Oh, this is only one time per battle? I believe so. One time per battle. This is an infinite uses. Okay. That's good. We'll, we'll salvage that. Yep. All right. All right. Auto forge. Okay, let's visit some planets. Let's visit some planets. Let's go. Okay, so we got so we completed here. Let's go to Soma. Yes, because we need that. All right, engage. I think all in all, those battles went well. So we did not waste too much time. Oh, here we go. A ship not too far away from you. General Evilton's battle cruiser. Look at that. That looks evil. He has a skull right there. Everything. With a name like Evilton. Sir! Oh, I gotta click. With a name like Evilton, you know he's a bad guy. Yes, what is it? I am kind of busy here. Well, we did another scan of the quadrant and. Wait! I'm about to upgrade. Save that thought. Who even gross, gruesome for the android? He had to turn away. That doesn't sound too good. Are you okay, Chief? Click, I gotta click. Yeah, R. Yeah, I am okay. In fact, I am better than okay now. Your new nose, eh? Not just a new nose, Rob. This one of the triple nostril type 5 modules we came over last week. Oh, we came over, okay. Really? 
I have the capacity of a jacked up bloodhound now. That is great. Looks good too. The metal in the middle of your face, that is. Did you have anything to report, Sergeant? Wow, yeah, sorry, sir. We found another strange concentration of dromium. Where did this one pop up? Same place as the last one. We will not lose this one, Rob. No, sir. Well, set an intercept course and... Intercept! Hmm, that's interesting. Day 97. Captain! Yes, ship. I have found some strange things about this planet that I want to share with you. Sure, go ahead. My scans show that this planet is highly advanced. There are huge cities all over the surface. And there is probably a chance here to find some new interesting technology. However, the scans show no higher form of life anywhere on the planet. If you decide to go down there, I recommend extreme caution. Alright, thanks for the warning. Alright, let's get that flute. Oh, let's try to contact. Initiating communication. Welcome, stranger. Here, I'm going to try and do a voice here. Welcome, stranger. Thank you. I'm Captain Wilmo of Space Fleet. This is a pre recorded message. Oh, when you listen to this. All of us will probably have left the system long ago. We apologize any inconvenience this might have caused you and wish you better luck on your next destination. From all the former inhabitants of Planisoma. What was that all about? Alright. That's not ominous at all. Oh, that's different music. <laughs> the Oat. What happened here? Unclear, Captain. This place is enormous. And completely abandoned? The sensors detect no advanced bio biological life forms. Where did everyone go? Who built all of this? Again, unclear, Captain. Maybe I should take a closer look. Yes, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Alien technology. I can't say with any measure of certainty what this is. But if I were to guess, I'd say it's some type of weather station. Whatever it might be, it is not powered. Okay, let's go down. It looks like a network hub. It has a couple of antennas on top and a workstation on ground level. Okay. Chip socket, socket for a computer chip. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Abandoned utility truck. Looks like a vehicle in desperate need of some old fashioned mechanical love. Yuck. The surface is covered with a thick and sticky fungus. The entrance, yeah. It is locked, but there is something that looks like a key card slider next to the door. All right. All right. You got to go a little bit closer. There we go to get a little zoom in. So we can touch these. Wow, look at all that. All right. Let's see what this one is. Look. This could be the power supply for the control system over at the ventilation tower. It looks very old and there is some kind of fungus all over the surface. There is a hatch here, but I cannot open it with my hands. Okay. Just 
This should be the engine control for those huge air vents on the side of the building. That's probably what these are. They are some sturdy looking shutters covering the controls. No way I can open these from here. Those air vents are enormous. If I could get those running, they will certainly clean out the sand in no time. Crater. This must be the impact location of the fuel cell. It seems to be buried deep into the sand. I could try to dig through the sand, but I don't think that would work. The sand is too loose and will keep filling up the hole. Broken droid. It's a droid he is completely covered in some type of mold. By the looks of it, he broke down a long time ago. Hey, here, here is a key card next to the body. I am taking it. Okay, so he took the key card. What's that? There's nothing I could do for this poor droid. All right. Let's go back to the truck. All right, so we're going to use the key card on the truck. Alrighty, so we got last to go outside, hydraulic engine, some type of hydraulic engine. Looks like this is what opened the door. I would guess this thing once controlled other systems as well. It's some kind of battery rack for charging batteries, I guess. Big red button, battery hatch, a short cable with a metal clamp fell out from a small space. Okay, it is attached to the wall. Cable with a metal clamp. Yep, so if you look over here, it is connected to this, this guy right here. So let me see. Try to talk to the droid. Anyone home? No. I don't think this droid is activated. What's this? Multi-tool. It's a mechanical tool. The droid seems to have a firm grip around it. Yep. We could probably use that multi-tool. The tool is stuck. I can't budge it. And we probably need that to open the, the hatch outside. Need to get the to loosen its iron grip around it. All right. Well, you know, looks like the droid needs some uh, juice, some electricity. So let's just grab these battery cables. There we go. Hook it up to the droid. Here we go. I think we do this. There we go. Hook it up to the droid. Sure, nothing can go wrong with this. Let's hit the big red button. Yeah, that doesn't look dangerous at all. All right. Multi-tool, yank. Yank that sucker. All right. Reboot, startup sequence. Call complete. Morning, good, off-worlder. What or who are you? I am Straw. Straw? A transfer system radio android. Model W. What happened here? I am finding it difficult to form coherent sentences. The fungus is still growing. It has already affected my speech center. A fungus? It feeds on biological tissue and my bio biochemical circuits. I shut myself down after losing control of my bob bob body. What is this fungus? The fungus is what you see growing all around you. In fact, it is the only thing growing on this planet now. It started beneath the ground and fed on organic tissue, consuming everything on its way. May I ask you something? You just did, but sure, go ahead. Who are you? I am Thomas Wilmu. 
I'm trying to get back home and landed here to retrieve a lost fuel cell. I understand. Do you need any assistance? Do you know anything about the gigantic fans on the building east of here? They were an attempt to keep the fungus at bay. Attempt failed. I took your multi-tool. Multi-tool processing. The X5 wrench is removed from hand. It appears I have lost the ability to operate my arms and body. The tool is yours too. To Where are all the inhabitants of this world? I am sorry. I am finding it hard to locate my memory files. If you'd like access to my complete memory archive, I need time to defragment my core byte file. Okay, I'll be back. Alright, so we got the tool. So let's open the hatch. So the hatch is... A very generic mechanical multi-tool looks custom made. All right. Oh. Yeah. All right. Go back here. Have to go up here. Now we do this. Go here. Here. Uh, here we go. <laughs> there is something inside it. Battery. All right. It's a battery for the power control hub. It has run out of power. All right. So the control hub, it's a battery for here. All right. So we know where we can charge it. All right. So let's put the battery here. And I think we take these uh, cables, this cable. Take that. He doesn't need that anymore. And then put that on the battery. All right. And then push the big red button again. Oh, see, it went turned green. And let's just yank the battery without turning anything off. There we go. The D, D, defragmation is complete. If you have any more questions, now is the time. All right, where are all the inhabitants? Please clarify which group of inhabitants you refer to. The fathers or the oat? The fathers, the oat? What are you talking about? Crazy robot, the fathers were the indigenous biological species on this planet. They lived and flourished here many eons. And then 800 years ago, they all perished. Well, that's sad. They perished? What happened? There is no complete record on how this event occurred, but a sickness started to spread in the form of a fungus. The fungus infected the fathers and damaged their DNA and completely disabled their reproductive sy system. All right, so no children could be born. Well, yeah. Why didn't they leave this planet in search of a cure? Okay, here we go. This was, I'm going to talk normally now because this is pretty deep. This was a pre-space civilization. They were trapped on their own planet. Uh, couldn't they eradicate the fungus? The fathers had developed something they called the oat, an organic artificial technology. It, was, it served as a planet support system and helped them live in peace and harmony. As the reality of the problem drew closer, the fathers removed all the oats' restrictions and asked it to find a solution. With the oats' complete control over all the planet's artificial systems, he started to work on a solution. Time ran out. The last father, aged 98, 96 seasons, died alone somewhere on the ocean west of here. Uh, okay, let's just ask, are you the oat? I am, I, memory files are corrupt. More time is needed to restore secondary memory backup. Stand by. Okay, I'll be back later. All right.
I'm just going to pop out and see if this battery is working. All right. Yep, I took the battery. All right. So let's go back. All right, so we'll pop the battery in here. Will you look at that? The shutters opened over at the ventilation tower. All right. Ventilation control. Hmm, looks like it could use some mechanical work. And the control chip seems totally fried. Okay. Okay. Let's use the multi-tool on it. You are a science officer, after all. Now all I need is a control trip chip to replace the fried one. Okay. So let's go back to the robot. Because we don't have a control chip. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to check something. Let's go here. What would happen if I uh, did this? Multi-tool? Nope, can't use it on the droid. Can't do nothing for the droid, so... Okay. No control chip. Truck drawer. All right, let's talk to the droid. Secondary backup restoration completed. All right, if any more time, if any more inquiries are required, now is the time. Are you the oat? Yes and no. I am part of it, at least. While the fathers were still alive, the oat was still confined to the digital world and circuit boards and power lines as pure AI. Even though this crude oat still was an infant, he still felt a purpose and had a clear goal as a caretaker for the fathers. But with the death of the last father, the oat lost his purpose and point of existence. For the first time, the oat had to motivate himself. Uh... Okay, what motivated the oat? Survival. With all the fathers gone, how did the oat go from digital to physical? Remember, the oat had been connected to all the father systems. At first, the oat took control of several factories and managed to produce single-task robots such as movers and welders. These single-task machines managed to, over the span of many years, redesign the factories so that they could produce more advanced and well-adjusted machines. So he evolved into the physical world then? Or machines building machines, right? Correct. Over time, the oat became a physical species of its own. What you see here today is created by the oat. What's it all for? Why do machines need buildings like these? Okay, sure. We constructed infrastructure for function and movement. We built gigantic libraries to preserve knowledge. And space observation observatories for collecting new insight into wonders of the universe but also art the devotion to art was always a core purpose in the new survival algorithm we are theaters there are theaters and concert halls on this planet so breathtakingly beautiful no father ever saw its like why we try to emulate the life of our fathers don't you what happened to the oat well, after the fathers had perished, we thought the fungus had become dormant. Even though we were dependent on biological circuits in our world, we never considered the fungus a threat to us. We never thought it could penetrate our sophisticated circuit shields. We were so wrong. Our biological circuits started to get infected, and everything began to shut down. So you are the last one? No, no. The core oat was well prepared for any kind of emergency. Most of the oat fled this planet about 43 years ago. It was decided that some of us would stay behind and fight the fungus. We failed. I'm so sorry, Straw. I can still feel a purpose of being alive. And I have a chance to survive. 
If I can gain access to a subspace network, I can transfer the essence of me to the core oat again. How can I help you with this? First, you have to take my, the control chip out of my skull. Then you have to bring it to the hub just outside of here. And, and could you please hurry? I feel my power draining. I am soon out of time. Alright, there's the control chip. Look at that, Captain. This is Shuttle. That ship you are holding is quite the powerhouse. Yeah, I guess so. That little thing could be very useful up in the ship. You think so? I know so. It contains dromium. Ah. So I guess you have no concerns regarding the moral of taking it. There you go. Since the sole purpose of morals is to make simple things more complex, I really don't see the value of it here. You say, what? What? You do know what moral means, right? Yeah, I just told you. So, let's bring the chip up to the ship, right? Uh, I could also use this for the ventilation control. Why would you do that? I think I can get to the fuel cell that way. Hmm, perhaps. I still think that ch chip is worth more than a fuel cell. Really think you should keep it. Really should do the right thing and upload his conscience through the network state. Nah, we'll do good idea. Good idea. I know. Okay, shuttle, thanks for the input. All right, let's go outside. All right. Elevator. All right, so long, suckers, finders, keepers. Ship. Yes, Captain. I salvaged a ship from a dying droid on the planet. A ship? No, a chip, as in computer chip. Shuttle theorized that it possibly could be very powerful. Perhaps we could use it up here on the ship? Well, you could check check it out in the auto forge. Maybe you can dismantle it into something, something useful. Okay, thanks. Alright, let's see what we could dismantle it into. Yeah, so you could dismantle it into Dromium. Alright, that's one ending. All right. So I guess you have no cuz regarding the moral of taking it, I could use this also for the ventilation control. All right, let's do that. Why would you do that? I think I could get to the fuel cell that way. Hmm, perhaps. Still think the chip is worth more than a fuel cell. I really think you should keep it. All right, I'm just to say good idea. Go outside. Ventilation control. Oh, duh. Yep, so if we use it, it's going to erase everything. Yep. We need that fuel cell. All right, fuel cell. It's a fuel cell, it looks to be in fine condition. Got to love great quality. Let's take that.
Yep, it's fried. Wait, wait, wait. If we were to do that... Can't use it again. Yep, I blew something important up in the first run. Yep. Sorry, Straw. I need that fuel cell. After I found the first fuel in store, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I c I can detect another fuel cell on you, Captain. Am I correct in assuming you retrieved this this during the, your miss mission? Yes. Good job, sir. Any c recommendations on what I should do with it? I mean, Oedipus just needs one fuel cell to power his defense, and we already secured one cell in the storage module. Hmm, I see your point. I guess you're free to use it as you see fit. You might be able to sell it to some trade station if you are in need of money, or if you need another star fragment for your upgrades, you can always dismantle it. Yeah, I'm thinking about dismantling, collecting those star fragments. We need at least three to get past barrier control through the smuggler's route if we're going to do that. We'll see. Just remember, they are quite valuable. Okay, thanks. Okay, and let's check the the nice guy ending. Okay. I should really do the right thing here and upload his consciousness through the network station. Ha ha ha, good one. Oh, you really think that's the right thing? I knew humans were mentally handicapped, but you sound like you suffered real brain damage. Oh, Shuttle. Okay, Shuttle, thanks for the input. So we go up here, over here. There's a chip. The socket. Transfer to subspace network. This operation will terminate the chip for security reasons. Yeah, typical. Incoming message. Thank you, friend. I am home, Straw. Oh, the good guy. One out of four. The evil one. I don't know. Okay. Okay. That's it. So, let me see. So, actually, you do get a little bonus because of that. If you make it to the barrier control, you do get a little battle card from they uh, from Straw, and uh, they actually help you fight the battle. It's kind of like bonus actions, basically, in the battle. Um, you know, if you know if you choose to. So here we go, helping hand. There we go. So basically, we went down there, really, and we came back with nothing, but it helps us later on. But in this instance, what I'm going to do, oops, actually, I, I want the fuel cell, so we're going to do this. So after you go back and forth and complete all the endings... Here you go. You could click on Autocomplete Adventures. I'll let that load. Okay. And then click on the OAT. And it saved all your uh, adventures. So we want the fuel cell. I just wanted to get as many stuff as I could get. And then we will 
try and uh, try and get the best ending. All right. So we got the fuel cell. All right. And I okay. I can. Yep. Here we go. We kind of already went through this. Yes. Okay. So we went through all this. We read all this before. So. Uh, we could sell it, or we could dissemble, dismantle it for star fragments. So we will do that later on. Okay. So I, that's going to complete the video. Um, thank you all for watching. Next week we'll continue on, visit other planets, try and get some more uh, fuel cells and whatnot. And, uh, you know, if you happen to like the video, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, bell notification. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. All right. Thank you all. Have a good night and see you all next time.